In solidarity with Wall Street. In solidarity with Wall Street. The Answer Coalition. The Answer Coalition. Will lead a march. Will lead a march. At 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. On Monday. On Monday. Through the financial district. Through the financial district. Ending at the federal building. Ending at the federal building. To demand an end. To demand an end. To police repression. To police repression. To our comrades in Wall Street. I am in charge of empathy. I am in charge of empathy. Because of this. Because of this. I want us all to get along. There is a lot of concerns that came um, from that discussion, especially because we're seeing a lot of leadership that is not queer, that is not women, and that is not people of color. And that is an issue. Um, I feel like there's too much, um, too much corporate influence in our democratic process. You can't even call it democratic anymore. Are you trying to topple the capitalist order, Karen? Yes, I am. <laughs> I would, I would like to see. Yeah, obviously, I would love to see it go that far. Education. That's my subject because I feel if, if we don't have a good education, we can't look forward to the future. Don't just think that history belongs in the in the books in your in your in, in your history class. History is happening as you speak. Listen. If you, if you read the complete works of Tacitus, this is Roman history. In the year 39 AD, they had a mortgage meltdown. 39 AD. The property values dropped. They didn't have banks, they had money lenders. And the uh, money lenders couldn't get the money out because the property wasn't worth it. And the whole Roman Empire shut down. The emperor, at that point, dumped 100 million sesterces. A lot of damn sesterces, if you think about it. Much like we did our, with our tarp bailout. And they stabilized all the homeowners. So they went to the homeowners and said, listen, uh, we're going to save your house for you, your property for you. They went to the money lender and said, we're not going to give you full value, but we're going to give you partial value. And then they let all their people live in their properties for three years without mortgages so that everyone could stabilize. I mean, 2,000 years ago, the Romans went through the same thing, thing. and they did it better. And they, they did responded. it better. They stabilized their community. We gave billions of dollars to what, five rich guys? I will not be sleeping out here tonight, but I will be bringing the people that do uh, pancakes in the morning, so I do support those folks. Wow, that's, a, that's very generous of you, sir. Uh, it's, we're, we're, we're all in this together. The union makes us strong, it says on your shirt. Are you a union member? Um, no, unfortunately, in my workforce, there are no unions. What do you do? Um, I a canvasser for the California Democratic Party, um, and canvassers don't have unions. Isn't that funny? I know, isn't it? The unions are so closely allied with the Democratic Party, but the party will not allow you to be in a union. Do you feel like the two-party system uh, allows for, how can I say, is flexible enough to solve the kind of problems? No, um, I don't think that the two-party system has been effective at all. Um, I kind of am starting to feel like they're the same party. Um, and I mean, they're both corporate-owned parties, um, and that's the problem. Corporations shouldn't be treated as human beings because they're not, and it, your bank account should have no effect on how much influence you give to the give to the democracy. We all one person, it. one vote. Exactly. Not one million dollars. Exactly. Vote. We are here because of all the wrongdoing that is happening everywhere. Fiscal policy is wrong. Everything about Wall Street is wrong. It's, the unemployment, it's, the poverty is one in six. The unemployment is 15 percent. It's just, it's not okay anymore. And we need to do something about it. We are waking up, rising up peacefully, taking our power back from corrupt gover governments worldwide.
the, the 99% are being oppressed. And a lot of us who, who, who can't find work, who are needing help, are, are finding it the, it the hardest to get help from the government. But yet when someone else wants a bailout, and they're, you know, the biggest corporations there are, they're running and they're giving them billions of our fucking tax money. But he's been waiting for an excuse to get that truck out of the garage. You're on the line with someone you're trying to get to come out? My roommate. He just got home from work. Get him on out here. <laughs> Hear that? What is happening here? These, these are jobs. They're running, running, running against greed. They are running against greed. I don't think that cutting spending in government programs is the best idea. I think that we need to increase our taxes. And, uh, anyone, uh, on anyone in particular? Oh, you know that top 1% maybe? Those people that are escaping it? How long are you going to stay out here and occupy Los Angeles? Uh, for as long as it takes.